Hi everybody. It is going to be time for Peaceful Flow Yoga. My name is Julie and I will be facilitating your class, Peaceful Flow Yoga with meditation and brought to you by Berkshire Yoga Dance Fitness. And today I am leading from my home and finding you and yours, hopefully safe and sound and healthy. So grab your mat and maybe a pillow, a blanket, get into some comfy clothes. I know I um, lit some sage. I cleared the space for all of us to be together. Um, I lit some lavender candles, have some soft music playing in the background. So this will be a nice, easy, peaceful hour, hopefully that you can take for yourself. I know that um, now more than ever, we need to be taking care of ourselves. Uh, being home with the kids uh, is wonderful in, in many, many, many ways, um, but we cannot lose our own uh, self-care and our own healing and our own time to nurture ourselves. Because when we do that, we are better parents, better people, better communities. So um, let's take care of ourselves together. Uh, there's a few more minutes until class starts. So I will give people plenty of time to settle in, to create some space in their homes, some quiet in their homes, or maybe not quiet, real, real life here, you know, practicing at home. Um, but I know that uh, I have been experiencing some anxiety. I'm sure everybody has, even if it's a little twinge or quite a bit uh, of the unknown, of the uncertain. Our routines, our lives have literally been just flipped all around. And um, now more than ever, we need to connect. Um, you know, we can't do it physically, but we can do it uh, socially. Um, Lots of Zoom chats and go-to meetings are happening, which is which is fun, different, very different, but um, exciting in new ways. Um, it's forcing us to kind of think differently and just be different. So, so I'll give you guys a few more moments to settle in, and then we'll get started. So I hope everyone can hear me okay. Shoot me a little comment. Uh, I hope I hope my audio is okay. <laughs> All right. It's almost that time. And definitely let me know if you can hear me or not. Um, I am gonna go to the back of my room and I will increase my volume a little bit. Um, but if for some reason people can't hear me, just type a comment and I'll see if I can see it. <laughs> All right? All right, so again, get your mat, your, um, your, your maybe a blanket, a pillow, cushion, some water. I was um, mentioning earlier, I, I lit some sage, I cleared my space uh, with that sage, I lit some um, lavender candles, you might wanna do the same in these next couple minutes before we get started, okay? So we will start seated, where we will uh, center ourselves in our bodies and in our breath, and enjoy yourself. Be authentic and connected and aligned with your trueness, okay? So I invite you to do that, and I invite you to slow down. Slow down. Let's do it together, okay? Berkshire Yoga Dance Fitness, Rachel Plain, 
huge support to help us teachers continue to teach and connect with everybody in the community and beyond. So thank you so, so much. I'm just gonna check out to make sure everyone can hear me okay. <laughs> Put my glasses on. Excellent, great, okay. So my audio is good. All right. So let's get started. Go ahead and prop yourself up on a cushion, uh, maybe a blanket, something where you can elevate your sitting bones so you can get nice and tall through your spine. And we're going to start in a nice, easy pose, Sukhasana. So just come into easy pose, whatever that looks like for you today, all right, and in this moment. And go ahead and close your eyes. You can adjust your spine, maybe wiggling it a little bit side to side, really finding a center, finding your center. So just kind of tiny movements just to... Feel your spine right now and then grounding yourself down over your sitting bones that are slightly elevated, right, to lengthen your low back. And then press the crown of your head up towards the sky. And then from here, let's draw the shoulders forward. Let's drink the breath in through the nose. Draw them up to the ears. And as you exhale, lower the shoulders, let them melt. Good, just like that. Breathing in, rolling them forward. Breathing out, softening, loosening them down, releasing any tightness in the shoulders that we can feel. Ready? Breathing in. And then breathing out, softening, loosening, letting go of the tops of the shoulders. Letting the shoulders melt away from the neck, away from the ears. Let your eyes close and feel all the muscles around your eyes soften, feeling the brow and the forehead soften and melt. And feel that place in between your eyebrows, that place that's on the forehead, slightly above the eyebrows. Feel that place just spread across the forehead, opening and softening. Good. And then let your arms and your hands rest in a really relaxed and effortless position. Beautiful. Letting your hips sink, letting your legs be relaxed, your feet and your toes unclenched, released. And let's bring our attention, let's bring our awareness to our belly. So often, without us even knowing it, we might have a clenched or tight belly. So let's relax the muscles in the belly, in the abdomen. Kind of activating a Buddha belly, releasing, releasing the belly. Good, happy belly. Just let yourself sit back into you, into yourself. No place to go, literally. <laughs> Nothing to do right now, but just be on this earth, in our bodies, gently lengthening your spine you are this connection between earth and sky. Let your mouth be soft, let your lips be soft, your tongue relaxing in the mouth. And very gently, Notice how you're breathing right now. Notice where you can sense the breath. It might be at your belly or your ribs. Maybe you sense the breath in your chest or heart. 
And maybe you can detect the breath at your nose or your upper lip. Just for the next few moments, just notice where that breath is and be absorbed and committed to feeling that breath. No matter how shallow or how deep your breath is, it doesn't matter. There's no problem. It's perfect just as it is right now. And then bring your attention to your mind. Notice if your mind for today has been particularly busy or particularly spacious and open or maybe someplace in between. Notice the qualities of your thoughts, positive, negative, or neutral in any place on that spectrum. And let's all create space for exactly where our minds are, exactly where our heads have been today. Cultivating a sense of non-judgmental awareness, opening up to what is You're doing great, I can tell. So now we're going to bridge the gap between mind and body by using the breath. We're going to deepen our breath. So as you breathe in, draw some clear, fresh breath in through the nose and fill up the lungs, feel the belly expand and the ribs, the chest, the heart and maybe even drink in so much breath that you can feel the chest lift with breath. And then breathing out, softening your chest, your heart, your ribs, and your belly, emptying out the breath. Let's do a few more just like that. Breathing in, belly, ribs, chest, Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly. Beautiful, smooth breath in. Lifting the spine, lengthening, being nice and full. Exhale, release, empty, empty some more. I know you have more, empty it out, empty it out, empty it out. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, beautiful job. We are going to continue to move now with this rhythmic, smooth breath. Inhale, draw your arms up and overhead, moving with the inhale, reaching arms up, drawing the palms together. As you breathe out, draw the palms through your midline. At your own pace, breathing in, and there's no rush. There's no rush. Breathing out. I saw a quote today that said, move just like nature, as nature moves so slowly and still accomplishes everything that she needs to accomplish. Moving just like mother nature.
Let's do one more. Breathing in, reaching arms up. When your arms get overhead, interlace your hands and press your palms up towards the sky. As you exhale, just stretch out through one side, stretching the side body. Good. Breathing in, opening up, filling the body with breath, with prana, with energy. Breathe out, stretch, release, empty, cleanse. You've got this. Ready? Breathe in, lift up. Drink it in, breathe out. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out. Good, breathe in, lifting all the way up, floating the ribs up and away from the hips. And as you exhale, draw the chin towards the chest as your interlaced hands cup the back of your head at the base of your spine. Let your elbows frame your forehead and breathe into the back of your neck. Take a delicious breath in. A cleansing breath out. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth, everyone. Ready? Let go, let go. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Break the sound barrier. Definitely no need to be bashful, right? In your own home. Take a deep breath in. Empty it out of your mouth, let it go. <sighs> awesome. Now let your hands just slide down to your legs. Your chin is towards your chest. Your spine is lengthened except for the hinge at your neck. You're gonna inhale, roll one ear over to one shoulder. And then as you exhale, draw your chin down to your chest. You can move the legs if you need to. If they are getting crampy in this position and it's not so easy anymore, change your easy pose to something else. Breathing in, drawing your chin, drawing your uh, ear to your shoulder. Relax and melt both shoulders down. Exhale, draw your chin towards your chest. Breathing in. And breathing out. Chin is towards the chest. When you're ready, please take your time. Inhale, draw the face up towards the ceiling. Open and close your mouth a couple times to stretch the throat. Deep breaths. Good. Draw the head back over the spine. So your head is just floating on top of the spine now. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let the shoulders drop. Let the breath empty out. <sighs> Two more. Inhale. Gather it up. Gather it up. Hold the breath in. Empty it out. <sighs> let it go. What else do you have to let go of? Anything in the heart that's kind of blocked or tight. Ready? Breathe in. Clearing the space. <sighs> Remove the cushion if you are on a cushion. And let's go ahead and just bring those legs out in front of you. And then just shake the legs out. Balance them up and down, bending, straightening, breathing. Good. Remember, going ahead and really sinking into your breath, sinking into your body, breathing in. And breathing out, <sighs> good. And then roll your ankles in one direction, breathing in. And breathing out. And then go in the other direction, breathing in. And breathing out, lubricating the ankle joints here, bringing some synovial fluid to the joints, good. And then flex your toes towards you. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, point your toes away. Breathe in, flex your toes towards you. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing out, pointing your toes away. Flex your toes towards your forehead, press out through your heels. Nice, strong, long legs. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. As you exhale, hinging forward, laying the heart down towards the knees, stretching as far as feels comfortable. We don't want to pass our edge. We want to approach 
our body's limitations with ease, with love, with compassion. Breathe into all corners of the body. Breathe out, letting go. <sighs> clearing the space, clearing the space. Again, breathing in. Breathing out. <sighs> and breathing in, framing the head with the arms. Inhale. Tummy is nice and strong. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, draw the arms down. You can either keep your um, sitting bones on the ground and simply lift your heart like so, gentle back bend, or maybe you want to bring your feet on the ground and come into reverse table, or maybe you want to keep your legs extended and lift the hips up, coming into reverse plank. Take a big breath in, big breath out, freeing the heart, breathing in. Breathing out, lowering the hips back down. Lead with the heart as the heart comes forward over the legs, reaching for the toes. Let's take two regulating breaths here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Easing up on any forcing, releasing. Become effortless, become easy. Slowly begin to roll the spine up. Let your chin tuck into your chest. Let your spine stack, your fingertips drag towards your hips as you stack the spine up. Big breath in. Letting go, breath out. <sighs> Notice how you feel already. If anything has shifted and changed, I know it has shifted and changed for me. Thank you for being here with me. So we're gonna go ahead and um, come onto all fours in a tabletop position. The wrists are underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. Our spine is neutral, so our spine is really long. We're gonna go ahead now and just dip the belly down. We're gonna open up the heart, inhale, the tailbone tilts upward. And as you breathe out, tuck your tailbone under, draw your chin to your chest, your belly button presses towards your spine. Breathing in, cow tilt. Breathing out, cat tilt. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's do a few more of cat-cow. But this time, I invite you to pause at the top of the inhale and feel the fullness of breath in. Hold the breath in. Feeling the space in your body that you're creating with this breath. And as you need to, go ahead and breathe out, tuck the tail under, draw the chin to the chest, squeeze the breath out, draw the navel towards the spine, hold the breath out, become free in this moment, clear and free of the breath. Feel the space in between breaths. And do one more in each direction, easy does it. And then come into a neutral spine once again. From here, we're going to inhale and lift our right arm up. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Look towards the ceiling, open up the heart. And as you exhale, we're going to thread the needle. We're going to bring that right arm through the left hand and the rest of our body. And we're going to rest on the right side of our head. Our left fingertips are pressing into the mat. You can spread your knees a little bit wider apart if you need to. You may want to lift that left arm. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. 
And as you breathe out, lower the left hand down, unwind the spine, find a neutral spine. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in, lift that left arm up, shine your heart towards the sky. And as you exhale, go ahead and thread the needle. Your left arm comes through that right hand and the rest of your body. Your right fingertips are on the floor. You're breathing deep. <sighs> Ringing out the spine here, doing a nice gentle twist along with a slight inversion. Our head is below the heart, promoting that reverse flow of blood. You may want to lift that right arm up towards the sky. Take a big breath in, big breath out. <sighs> breathing in. Breathing out, lower that hand back down. Pressing your hand all the way up, unwinding the spine. And then from here, we're going to place the hands right underneath the shoulders. Make sure that the fingertips are spread wide apart. You're going to tuck the toes under just for a moment before downward facing dog. We're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just sink your hips back towards your heels. Yeah, just sink them back and just stretch the toes. You might want to rock from right to left. Breathing. Breathing. Awakening the toes and the webbing between each toe and the feet. Let's drink some breath in, into the feet. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly draw yourself back up into table. And we are going to go up into downward facing dog. So making sure to spread those fingertips wide apart, facing your middle fingers forward. Inhale, as you exhale, lift the knees high, press the belly towards the thighs, lift those sitting bones, and then just let the heels sink down. And we're going to take a deep breath in, and deep breath out, let the head go, let the head be nice and heavy. <sighs> and then you might want to pedal one heel towards the mat as you bend one knee. And then the other, just walking the dog here, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Let both heels sink now. Once again, it's okay if they don't come to the floor. Just let them energetically drop towards the mat. Let your head be heavy again, lifting, lengthening the spine. Big breath in, everybody. Letting go breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Maybe shake the head a little bit. And then gaze out between both hands. Step your feet towards your hands, coming into a forward bend. In this forward bend, you may want to hold on to some kind of prop or maybe even a chair in front of you. Or maybe you want to rest your elbows on your thighs, letting your head hang down um, as much as feels comfortable. And maybe you just want to let the spine melt forward. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> letting go. We're really... Peeling back the layers here of stress, of tension, of anxiety. With the breath. <sighs> Moving in the breeze. Just letting yourself be easy, be free. Letting the breath be unrestricted, letting the breath be smooth. And then coming back into stillness, letting the arms drop down. And if possible, give your head a little shake. Yes. And then no. <sighs> Sighing, sounding with those exhales. Huh. From here, 
here, we're going to bend the knees slightly. Inhale, draw the hands halfway up, lengthen. And exhale, we're going to empty it out. We're going to do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, press into the legs, into the feet. Inhale, draw your arms all the way up. Placing the palms together overhead. Exhale, draw the palms down the midline. Two more sun breaths, just like that. Ooh, now we're standing. Breathing in. And then breathing out, draw the palms down. And again, breathing in. Breathing out. Find your mountain pose here with Anjali Mudra. Prayer pose, or as I say in schools and with children, your candle flame in front of your heart. We're going to light that candle flame and we're going to uh, give our heart some care uh, with some meta phrases, meta meditation, meaning loving kindness meditation. So I'm going to offer you four phrases and you are going to offer those phrases to yourself. You can say them out loud. You can whisper them. You can say them uh, silently. So our first phrase, repeat each phrase three times to yourself. Grounding down through your legs, lifting up through the spine, having a sense of ease, stability, and groundedness to your body, to yourself. May I have mental happiness. May I have mental happiness. The next phrase delivering this into your heart, into yourself. May I have physical happiness. May I have physical happiness. Next phrase, may I be free from fear. May I be free from fear. And the last phrase, may I have ease of well-being. May I have ease of well-being. Take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> we will revisit those phrases throughout our practice. So come up to the top of your mat, the top of your space, coming into mountain pose. And we're going to flow easily and effortlessly through some sun salutes, pausing here and there. Feel your groundedness. Open up your heart, relax the shoulders. Breathing in, reaching arms up. Breathing out, swan dive, lead with your heart. Inhale, hands slide up halfway. As you exhale, step your right foot back nice and long into a runner's lunge. Good. Inhale, bend your right knee, let it sink. As you breathe out, either stri straighten just your back leg or maybe both legs and hinge forward into pyramid pose. Two more, we're gonna breathe in. 
We're gonna lift the crown, we're gonna bend both knees, we're gonna breathe out, we're gonna soften the crown down and straighten the legs. Inhale. Exhale. This time, keep that back leg nice and long and strong. Ground yourself down, just like you do in mountain pose. Grounding down through the feet, through the legs. And then inhale, lifting up, coming up into crescent warrior. Softening the tops of the shoulders down. Opening up the heart, full breath in. Full breath out. From here, inhale. As you exhale, draw the arms down by your side about 45 degrees and hinge at your hips. Flying warrior. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hinging. Inhale, lifting up. You got this. Exhale, floating forward. From here, placing both arms down on either side of that left foot. We're going to lower that back knee down, coming into a low lunge now. You can soften the top of that uh, right foot on the mat, or you can keep it curled under. Ground yourself down here in this low lunge. From here, we're going to inhale, and we're going to imagine that we're scooping up all the love, the joy, the healing, the clarity that the earth needs right now. We're going to exhale and sprinkle it all over us. Exhale. We're going to inhale all that loving kindness. Scooping it up. Exhale. Let's do one more. Breathing in. Let it rain down on you. Exhale. From here, hands are going to be on either side of your left foot or a little bit back further towards your hips, and you're going to straighten that front leg, coming into half splits pose. And you're going to breathe in, um, flex your left toes towards your forehead. And as you breathe out, point your toes away. Breathe in, flex. Breathe out, point. Breathe in, flex. Breathe out, point. From here, go ahead and hinge forward into that low lunge. We're going to place our hands on the ground, tuck the back toes under, find that um, lunge, that runner's lunge. We're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, step back into plank. So here we are in plank, either with knees lifted or knees lowered, your choice. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathing in. Slow motion melts down, melting down, melting down, melting down. Turn your head to one side, reach your arms down by your side, and just let the earth hold you. Let yourself melt. Ear is turned into the ground. And we're just breathing in. And we're breathing out. <sighs> Feel free to sigh to sound. Hearing that audible sigh is sometimes just what the body and mind need. It's that tangible evidence of letting go, hearing it dissolve. And then placing the forehead onto the mat. We're going to bring the arms about 45 degrees away from the body and we're going to soar. We're going to fly. We're going to lift. We're going to inhale, lifting up everything that feels okay to be lifted. Exhale and go ahead and softly lower back down. Inhale, let that breath carry the body up, feeling free, feeling spacious. Exhale, lower down. Let's do three more. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. We want to do what feels really good. So find what feels really good. Breathing in. Soft landing. And last one. Breathing in. And breathing out. 
And this one, actually there is going to be one more. And we're going to inhale, lift up. Now you can stay here in Navasana, boat pose, or maybe you want to interlace your hands. I encourage you to interlace your hands in your non-habitual way. So whatever thumb goes on top normally, do it the other way. Let's retrain our brain here. We're doing a lot of retraining our brain lately, right? So lifting up, pressing those uh, interlaced hands up and away. So we call this shark pose in Radiant Child Yoga, that upper fin. And we're breathing in, breathing out. Free up that heart. Let's take one more breath in. As you breathe out, slow motion, lower down, peel those hands away, turn your head, turn your face to the other side. And just relax. Take a nice deep, full breath in. Deep, full breath out. Bending the knees and windshield wiping the shin side to side. <sighs> Reconnecting to slowing down. Reconnecting to easy, effortless breaths. And then lowering the feet back down. We're going to bring our hands underneath the shoulders. The forehead is going to come to the mat. We're going to tuck the toes under, pass through plank, either on knees or full plank, and then downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. From here, gaze out between both hands and step your feet up to meet your hands. Take a long breath in as you slide the hands halfway up the legs. On the exhale, completely let go. And we're going to do that again. And I want to hear you all the way from here, letting go with your breath. Ready? Breathe in. And let go. Good. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Draw the palms up towards the heavens. Exhale, draw the palms down. Stand again in your mountain pose, in your Tadasana pose. We're going to pause here. We're going to feel our bodies grounded, feel our bodies elevated. Shoulders relaxed, breath is free. And at this time, think of somebody in your life who you know very well, who needs support, who could really use some loving kindness being penetrated into their heart and into their soul, into their body, into their mind. You have that person? Okay. We are going to generate this loving kindness to that individual. You can repeat these phrases out loud, in a whisper, or silenced. May you have mental happiness. May you have physical happiness. Envision these phrases being absorbed by this person. May you be free. 
free from fear. moment we're going to take a deep breath in as you exhale reach your arms down inhale reach your arms up exhale swan dive just pause here for a moment in this forward fold feeling the reverse flow of blood Inhale, draw the hands halfway up your body, up your legs. Exhale, let it all go. <sighs> Inhale, go ahead and step your left leg back nice and far back with that left leg. In runner's lunge. Good. Inhale, bend the left knee. As you exhale, let that knee spring up. Inhale, bending. Exhale, you may want to straighten both legs and lower the crown. Breathing in, bending, lifting the crown. Exhale, straightening, lowering the crown. Let's do two more, breathing in. And then breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. This time, finding that runner's lunge, grounding down into the earth, just like in Tadasana, just like in mountain pose. When you're ready, inhale with that strength from the ground up. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the heart, settle the hips down, settle the tops of the shoulders down. Breathing, proud warrior. Breathing deeply, inhaling, exhaling. Face is soft, forehead is smooth. We're gonna inhale. As we exhale, fly your warrior, hinging forward, reaching the fingertips back as the top of your head plunges forward. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hinging forward, long spine, breathing in. And then breathing out slowly, place your hands on either side of that right foot. We're gonna lower the left knee down into our low lunge. You can soften the back foot on the mat, finding your low lunge. And we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna find all of the goodness that loving kindness brings us. We're gonna breathe in and scoop it up. We're gonna bring it forward and up. And then we're gonna exhale. I'll let it rain down on us. Let's do two more. <sighs> Opening up the arms, the shoulders. <sighs> Hands frame the right foot. We're going to breathe in. As you exhale, draw the hips back, extending that right leg in half splits pose. We're going to inhale, flex the right toes towards the forehead. As you exhale, point the right toes away. Inhale, rocking back. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, coming all the way forward into that low lunge. Once again, we're going to tuck the back toes under, lift up into lunge. Inhale, 
And as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. From here, coming onto your knees, bringing the big toes together and softening the hips over the heels, bringing the forehead down into child's pose. You might wanna bring the elbows out and draw the fingertips in, coming into a diamond shape with the arms. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. And big breath out. And then from here, slowly we're gonna come back up into table, tucking the toes under, lifting up high through downward dog, our last downward dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana, of our practice, bending the knees, looking out between both hands, and stepping or walking the feet up into our forward fold. Just shake the head out, yes. And then, Shake the head out, no. Whew. And then go ahead, this time roll the spine up, articulating each vertebra, letting your head be the last to come up. And once you are in standing, give your shoulders a nice big shrug forward, breathing in. And breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Good. So before making our way down to the floor, we'll do breath of joy um, to continue to clear the space and to generate some some love, some joy, some upliftment in our bodies and our minds. So breath of joy is like this. We're gonna bend the knees, okay? Get nice and soft in your knees. And we're gonna breathe in, draw the arms forward. Breathe in like a third of the lungs. And then breathe in like two thirds of the lungs. Draw your arms out like you're conducting an orchestra. Breathe in all of the lung capacity. And then we're gonna breathe out, empty it all out. Ha! And we're gonna breathe in. one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. <sighs> May I have mental happiness. Go inside, close your eyes, absorb these phrases. May I have physical happiness. May I be free from fear. Lean back into yourself. May I be free from fear.
May I have ease of well-being. Take a slow breath in. As you breathe out, lower your arms, lower your chin towards your chest, rounding the spine as you come forward, transitioning into a seated position with your legs in a wide angle. So our legs are nice and open and wide. We're gonna flex out through our heels. Nice and tall through the spine, you are the connection between earth and sky. And we are going to reach for one foot and we're going to inhale the other arm up. Exhale and receive a nice side stretch in those side ribs and the side body. Make sure though that you're rooting down in both sitting bones, that this sitting bone is not being lifted up. We want to really ground down and then extend and free ourselves. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, coming all the way up. Simply just lower that arm down like it's floating through water. Inhale, other arm up, reach for the foot. Exhale, stretch. Your heart remains open here. We're stretching through the side body and the heart and chest are expanding and lifting. Take a nice big breath in. Big breath out. Slow motion. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, arm floats down. Place your hands in between your wide angle and then just reach your fingertips away from your body as far as feels comfortable. Take a big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out. Take one more nice breath. Let it out. <sighs> Slowly walk your hands back towards the body. And then draw the legs together. We're going to come all the way onto our backs now. Hugging the knees into the chest. And then just rock side to side. Take a nice long breath in. Long breath out. Continue to allow the breath to be smooth, unrestricted breath. Soft face, soft eyes. Letting yourself lay back into the earth, letting gravity do its job. And then coming into stillness, placing both hands on kneecaps and circling the knees apart and then together. Circling them apart and then together. And then going the other direction, breathing in. And breathing out. And then bringing the knees together, drawing the arms out at T position, at shoulder height, for a gentle twist to close our asana practice. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, draw the knees over to one side. relaxing the whole body now. No holding on, simply relaxing, either gazing straight up at your ceiling or out towards the extended arm. You may want to grab 
your knees with the closer arm. Take a big breath in. Letting go breath out. <sighs> Breathing in, drawing the knees up through center. Breathing out, bring the knees over to the other side. Enjoying this spinal twist. Letting the breath be effortless and easy. And then coming up into, with knees into the chest. From here, place the soles of the feet together and let the legs be in bound angle, reclined bound angle. You can place your hands on your belly or maybe perhaps on your heart. And in this position, we are gonna bring to mind somebody who we know as an acquaintance in our life, maybe somebody who we see at the bank, like the bank teller, or maybe the person at the grocery store checkout line, or the gas attendant, or maybe a neighbor that we don't know all too well, but we see and we wave to them. Think of somebody like that. And we're gonna generate that loving kindness and send that loving kindness to that person. May you have mental happiness. May you have physical happiness. Repeating these phrases, breathing, Sending them to that person, that acquaintance. May you be free from fear. May you have ease of well-being. And then very gradually, just let your arms come out to both sides. Let your legs extend into relaxation, Shavasana. You may want to place a blanket over your body to not only keep you warm, but also ground you down into relaxation. And we'll be here for a few minutes to integrate, to absorb as well as to completely let go. Letting your head relax. Letting your forehead and your face be soft. Let your neck and your throat relax.
Soften your shoulders and your arms and your hands and fingers. Let your upper back, your mid back and your lower back settle into the mat. Let your heart be free. Noticing how your body rises and falls with every breath. Let your hips and your buttocks settle into the mat. Let your upper legs, your knees, your lower legs, your feet and your toes completely settle and relax. Let your whole body soften and relax. You can stay relaxed and just take two big breaths in and out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Begin to wiggle fingers and toes and gently rock your head side to side. And then very gradually curl over onto one side and press up into a seated position. You may want to prop yourself onto a cushion. Coming back up into easy pose. And drawing your palms together in front of your heart. We are now going to generate loving kindness to ourselves, to our entire families, our neighborhoods, our communities, people we know, people we don't know. We're going to deliver this loving kindness to animals, to all living things, to our entire state, our entire region, our entire country, our entire continent, our entire hemisphere, our entire planet, our entire solar system, our entire universe. May we have mental happiness. May we have physical happiness. Feel it, feel it authentically, ready? 
May we be free from fear. May we have ease of well-being. Take a deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> We're gonna join our hearts, our love, and our energy and chant the sound of Om. Feel free to chant with me. Take a deep breath in. to your mind, your body, and your heart. And from my heart to yours, from my home to yours, namaste, be well, um, and, um, and take care of yourself. And I will be here soon again with you. All right, thank you so much for coming and joining.